lesson here and I'm going to go over some exaggerations of postural issues that will cause a lot of problems. So, the very first thing we want to work with is look at the feet. If you have your feet caving in like this, whoop, the knees start to come in. So I'll exaggerate what's actually going on there. So anytime you're walking, all the weight is going into this part of the knee and that's why the knees can start to become sore. Start running with that, you've doubled the issues, okay? So that's why you really wanna have strong feet. So if I grab the ground with my toes, boom, sends the knees out, okay? So feet have to be strong, that's where you wanna start. Now, if there's some sort of knee issue on the one side, what's gonna happen there is it's going to push your pelvis out a little bit, like that. And then that's why they can start to get back problems and things like that. It will also start to affect the shoulder. Imagine trying to push anything above the head, you don't have a stable structure underneath. Whoa, that's giving me a hip cramp, just stand like that. Um, you don't have a stable structure underneath, so the spine's not been able to be stacked in the right way, okay? Now, if we move it up a little bit, say you are always favoring standing on one leg, like that, okay? All the time. So we've just added a couple of these problems together now. So the foot's caved in the bottom, the pressure goes to the inside of the knee, all the weight's in this one hip, and if I stand up straight, then my leg is basically up here somewhere, okay? So you can hike your own hip up just by standing like this all day, okay? Hopefully you're still with me. Um, not saying that you have any of these problems, these are just really common things that are habits that people have, and if you're having issues with your training, then it's things you wanna sort of look at, because if you're doing this for 12 hours a day and not ever doing anything about it, then you know, you're gonna have issues, okay? If we move that up again further, say you have your shoulders are rounded, whoop, like that, and the head starts to travel forward, everything around the back here has to work a lot harder, okay? All the muscles here in the back are trying to pull your head back, and the further out it goes, the harder they have to work, the tighter your traps get, the tighter your shoulders get, everything just feels horrible, and nothing just really works in the right way, okay? Now, that can happen to just one side as well. This is one that happened to me, um, purely from like years of playing guitar, it was always like this, and then the job that I had always had me doing this, and just everything was just pulling me to rotate this way, okay? So for me, I was in this position here, and what that can start to do is if one shoulder's off, the other hip has to sort of compensate that so that you're able to stand and, you know, stand up straight. Now, you'll just look like this, but this is actually what's going on. So then this glute becomes less active, okay? Can you see how this is all connected? This is why the simplistic mobility method is so important because it ties, it makes you do everything at the same time together um, and not just addressing one thing at a time because if I was to just fix my shoulder, the hip's still not addressed. If I was just to fix my hip, the shoulder's still not addressed and something else will start to go. And that's how people can get stuck in this like injury loop of going, oh, I hurt my shoulder, oh, I hurt my hip. Oh, hurt my knee. Oh, hurt my hip. Oh, hurt my shoulder. And that's just how it goes until one of them will just eventually give up and you'll then rest it for longer. And then you'll go back and be like, oh, I've got no luck. And it's purely down to all of these things. Your body tries to help you out, but it gets confused and it doesn't know, you know, what you want to do in general. So your body's just trying to do the best it can to get you around day to day. But if you want to do fun things like handstands and lifting and all that cool stuff and um, build the muscle and all the cool stuff, and then you've got to look after these things. You've got to make your body work like a body first and get as aligned as you can, okay? You're always gonna have one side that feels slightly stronger or one side that, you know, maybe is a bit tighter and stuff like that. As long as you work on it a little, you'll generally be fine, okay? If you let the gap get too big, then yeah, you're gonna run into problems, especially if you're trying to push heavy weights and stuff like that. It's just gonna happen, okay? Um, a lot of people that don't notice any issues are generally people that don't have any fun or do anything training-wise that, you know, that you enjoy doing, okay? So if you're watching this video, you probably enjoy training. So it's very important to address your body all at once, at the one time, and not just deal with symptoms, okay? So if you just work on your knee, say your foot's caved in and your hips twisted and you just try and, you know, rub your knee out, you know what I mean? You're not fixing anything, you're not relearning anything, you're not gonna put it in a better position, okay? So working on those things will work on your symptoms a lot more than just the things that feel nice straight away, if you know what I mean. So if you're just going for the quick fix all of the time, then you're not really gonna get anywhere with it. You're just gonna be constantly having the fix, constantly having the fix, which in the long run actually takes longer and is less enjoyable. So do good training, learn about your own body and your own little compensations, and you'll be awesome.